I have not talked to Kuria because I avoid the temptation of calling him because I am sure, I'm not sure whether I would find him sober. In fact, I, I can bat on him for some of the things because three quarters of the tweets he makes when he's high. David D., uh, I, I, I cannot doubt his, his education. Mm -hmm. He's very competent. But being an economics advisor doesn't make him a spokesman. So he better advise and keep quiet. But if he wants to talk, then he should go and take lessons on public speaking. That I have since confirmed from my counterpart in the National Assembly that C.S. Davis Churchill has appeared before the House, he has discharged himself very well, and is on record on what he makes of the current crisis in the oil sector. As far as which effectively vacates my position on Davis Churchill, as far as my remarks are concerned to do with Korea and members of the Presidential Advisory Economic Council, I want to reiterate that I stand by those remarks. Namely, Korea deserves to be fired. He must be fired for his utterances. He must be fired for his incompetence. And he must be fired for his disrespect, not only to the people of Kenya, but to the institution of parliament. Because he knows, even as I was speaking, I still reserve the right to summon him to come to the Senate so that A, he could respond to what I inquired, or B, he could come and face a motion of censure. Yes, granted, I am the whip for the government. The Constitution has given me an even bigger role, i.e., being the Senator of the Republic of Kenya. And therefore, my being a whip does not take away from me the responsibility of oversighting ministers. We will help the President in making sure that his cabinet is performing, his cabinet is effective, and that his cabinet continues to remember that they are not our bosses. We won the elections and gave them a job to do through the president and will ensure they do it, That's whether it is Kirwa or Kuria or anybody else.